All right, so I know it took 90 days, but I've actually done it. Um, in the last video, I asked the world, should I build a full-blown startup focused on local AI-powered voice assistants for the smart home? And that's exactly what I've been doing for these past many months. And that's why this channel has been so quiet. But I'm really happy to announce today that futureproofhomes.net is going to be selling a Satellite One PCB dev kit. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay It'll be shipping in December to the United States and to Europe. And so head on over to the website today and sign up to get on the wait list. Okay, so what exactly is the Satellite One? So basically, it is a hardware dev kit, which is a precursor to a commercial product that enables you to talk to your smart home via the Home Assistant platform. So basically, it's like an Alexa that does not require an internet connection. In fact, it's a completely private voice assistant for the smart home. Now, in the future, the Satellite One will have a really sleek looking enclosure and a built-in speaker that wraps around this PCB dev kit. And you'll be able to set it on your desk and talk to it like any other voice assistant. We're also going to be releasing a stealth in-ceiling mount kit so that you can put your Satellite One up in the ceiling and it'll expose the microphones and the speaker and all the sensors to the entire room. You can go to futureproofhomes.net and take a look at our roadmap to see all the cool stuff that we're gonna be building. Okay, so now how does the Satellite One actually work, especially when it's not connected to the internet? So basically, there's a little computer chip on board that listens for the wake word, and that wake word could be anything. It could be Hey Home, or Dave, or Smorgasbord, it's whatever you program. But the Satellite One will record your voice, and it even works in a loud room when music is playing, and it'll send your voice all the way over to the Home Assistant server that might be in your laundry room, for example. And that Home Assistant server is connected to all the smart devices in your home. And Home Assistant will respond back to the Satellite One with a computer-generated voice that says, I've turned off your lights. But the Satellite One is even better than your average voice assistant. After fully setting it up, it'll actually start the conversation with you. So this means you don't have to scream out, hey home, shut the garage door. But instead, when necessary, it will find the nearest Satellite One to you, and it'll just turn on and it'll say, hey Brad, the garage door is open, would you like to close it? And all you have to do is respond by saying, yes, thank you. Okay, so enough talk, let's just demo the Satellite One. But before we do that, I have to thank our sponsor, JLC PCB. JLC PCB actually helped us manufacture our early Satellite One prototypes. They're a one-stop shop for manufacturing your own printed circuit boards. They'll procure and assemble all the little chips and components for your PCBs so that your project becomes a real thing that you can actually hold in your hands. It's simple to log in to JLC PCB and upload your project files, and they have tons of options to choose from, really great quality control, and super fast shipping. I typically receive our hardware iterations in about five to seven business days. They also offer custom 3D printing, CNC manufacturing, and sheet metal fabrication. Use the Future Proof Homes link in the description below to get PCB fabrication and assembly for as low as $2 and up to $60 in coupons. Okay, now back to the demo. So as you can see, we have been iterating over pretty much any off-the-shelf hardware we could get our hands on, pushing it to its limits. But we realized that we needed to build our own hardware, so say hello to the Future Proof Homes Satellite One. Uh, so the Satellite One consists of a core board down here, which contains a ESP32-S3, and it's all powered by a USB-C power delivery, so lots of power coming into this device. And then it's sandwiched together with a uh, hat. So uh, on this hat, you have your 12 LEDs, your four hardware buttons, so your uh, volume up, volume down, hardware mute, and an action button, but you could program these buttons to do anything you want. It also has the four microphones. We have a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, a light sensor, and we'll add more sensors in the future. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so that you can connect to external amplified speakers. And then we also have a built-in speaker connection that'll push a 25 watt speaker. What you see right now is jumper cables that are connected over to an XMOS eval board. So you can imagine that this XMOS chip right here is gonna be shrunk down and then plopped right onto the hat. This XMOS chip is responsible for noise cancellation and audio echo cancellation. So it basically enables the voice assistant to hear you talking in the room even when you're playing music or when there's noise in the background. 
All of this is going to be open source. Please contribute, you know, work with the community. For those who do really great work, we hope to talk to you and you can join us and build something really cool for the whole world, I think. Over there is the server. And so you'll be able to actually talk to your own AI inside the home, completely locally, no internet connection. For now though, we're talking just to a home assistant's built-in you know, conversation agent. So I'll go ahead and demo. Hey Jarvis, turn on the media room mood lighting. Turned on the light. So you can see the purple lights just went on. Hey Jarvis, turn on the media room ceiling lights. Turned on the light. Hey Jarvis, turn on the media room fans. Turned on the fans. All right, so there's your fans. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, one more thing. So let's go ahead and stream some music. So if I go over here to Inside Home Assistant to Music Assistant, for example, and I'll just click play. Um, here you go, you can you know, actually hear music playing through the device. So please forgive the, uh, you know, the, the bad sound. That's because of all the, the rigging that I've done here. That will not be in the final product. But yeah, let me turn that off so I don't break any copyright. Yeah, just really, really excited to launch this for you guys. We're gonna aim for very high quality hardware really good documentation, really good ease of use. I'll pass it over to the other Brad who is far more professional than me. Okay, thank you Demo Brad. So I wanna end this video by saying thank you. Uh, thank you to the team members for joining Future Proof Homes. Uh, thank you to the Home Assistant community and all the amazing work that you guys do to make this project even possible. I really look forward to contributing back to the Home Assistant movement. Uh, thanks to all the subscribers and customers who may end up purchasing. Uh, you can find us on Twitter and check out our Future Proof Homes blog to get the most up-to-date information. And I'll see you guys really soon with uh, more exciting updates. Until then, keep building.